Welcome back, back pop stars. stars. I'm Lady Whistledown. And I'm Lady Whistledown. And I'm Lady Whistledown. No, I'm Lady Whistledown. No, I'm Lady Whistledown. But what if I'm Lady Whistledown? Hang on, hang on. I could have sworn that I was Lady Whistledown. That's funny you say that because I'm pretty sure that I'm Lady Whistledown. Well, actually, I am Lady oh, Whistledown. That would be cool if it only weren't for the fact that I'm Lady Whistledown. And I summon Pot of Greed. <laughs> Well, that spiraled out of control. That did. I'm Ben. Uh, no, I'm Rizzo. Wow. Apparently, I'm the one that everyone wants to be, Benji. And we are watching the sixth, sixth episode of the Bridgerton third season of, of the Bridgerton. second part. You got it. We left on a great cliffhanger. Cressida be cresseting. Um, She's trying to get out of her marriage. And then we've got Colin and Penelope that uh, might not have to address the whistle down in the room. Probably will, though. <laughs> the whistle down in the room? <laughs> nice. The new Lady Bridgerton has a baby on the way. The previous Lady Bridgerton has a new man on the way. And <laughs> Benedict is Benedictin' down the entire wow. <laughs> time. Three, two, one, and gauge. It is her. She is cruel. The poor child has clearly been badly brought up. But also... I would cast her out if I were her mama. But also, the next issue could literally just be, no, it ain't. <laughs> it could be, or she could take this and back off. I will not insult the devil by drawing parallels between him and Cressida Cowper. For one is a liar, a fraud, a succubus of the first water. And the other is the, the devil. And the other mm -hmm. is not known to this author. Just a big old no. You have a visitor. Oof. I've been worried. I'm well enough, Colin. There is nowhere else I would rather be. If you're sick, we're sick. Got it? That's cute, but impractical. I know there is something you wish to tell me, but I'm happy to be patient until you are ready to unfold. Mm, remember those words. You are feeling. Can I get you to write that down and then sign this? I certainly did not swim because of anything you did. Mom. So Cressida Cowper and her insane claims to be whistled out. Insane why? All the unkindnesses she has written about our families, and then to unmask herself at our engagement party. She <laughs> Cressida to take that which is not hers. Mm. What do you mean? Do you think it is really her? I always imagined Lady Whistledown might be more clever, perhaps. I have something for you. Mom. I mean, I guess she the has to. <laughs> has just finished setting it. Ooh. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> and yet still only half as beautiful as you. Oh, I would like some diamonds, but I understand that's not accurate for the time. Is it not? Is all this ink? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's one in yes. the middle. Yes, um, lettuce. It's feathering tip. For now. Ooh. Soon to be Miss Bridgerton. So now do we have the question, do we need whistle down anymore? I guess. Now you've been giving it out. Regular intro. Oh, yeah. A debutante bride, not a gossip writer. He has rescinded his offer of marriage. Oh, oh no. no. This is no occasion to smile. If you think you can keep working under my roof, you are sorely mistaken. I am sending you to live with your Aunt Jo. But Aunt Joanna lives in Wales. Precisely. You can write gossip about the sheep. <laughs> but my question is, why would it be called Wales if there's a bunch of sheep? Cressida. You must take back your statement. We can say the Lady Bridgertons gave you too much wine. You do not believe me? I know, my daughter. Lady Whistledown <laughs> is an astute writer. Oh. You have many gifts, but cleverness is not amongst them. Jesus, Mom. Way to take something that could have almost been sweet and turn it into a backhanded compliment. Not even backhanded. You are oh, summoned shit. to the palace at the behest of Her Majesty the Queen. Oh my god, girl. We are selling the club. Ah, oh, that is good news. Oh, I'm always pleased when people take my advice. And it is the right decision. You must draw attention to yourselves by throwing a ball. That sounds exhausting. Can't I just watch TV? <laughs> no, actually. Literally, Damn. you cannot. Forgive my <laughs> intrusion. I simply forgot my uh... manners. Hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything he does seems so deliberate. Well, you just. Um, He's a man who knows what he wants. Suppose I could have sent a footman to fetch this, could I not? <laughs> but then I would not have been able to see you again. Mm. <laughs> How are you? I take it you sensed a chilly departure between my sister and me. Yes. I do believe we will work it out. Childhood grievances have a way of lingering. <laughs> my sister was the first born. But you were the first boy. What all? 
all happened because it takes a lot for a childhood grievance to be that long standing. I shall let you nurse your headache in peace, <laughs> but I do hope to see you soon. As do I. Do you already recognize this song? I don't. Not quite yet. Oh. It's, fun. it's funny how you can always tell, though. Why are you lying? Lying. Lying. You are. Oh, Gregory! What? I like the chocolate ones as well. I have not had But I <laughs> Your family is clearly yeah. occupied. They're yeah. always like this. You must interrupt. Oh, I do not believe you will hear me. Watch. On the count of three. Excuse me. I have been taken ill of the plague, and you are all doomed. Three <laughs> banana macarons for the one chocolate. Well, don't expect Colin to pick up on subtle clues <laughs> and contexts. You grab him by the not head. Not his game. John has a small announcement to make on our behalf. Small? Very small. Indeed. I think she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, scurries out of the room. We are to marry. Super small. <laughs> That's to a season. Look at that. That's what happens when you take two years to make a TV show. <laughs> Did you know she was Lady Whistledown? You sp spoke with Penelope this morning. Yes. She is devastated about Miss Cowper coming forward. Tell me mm. you Ooh. did not know. <laughs> She said Penelope no, immediately. Not about Cresta. The friendship was already souring, but this caper may be the final straw. Might? I should hope so. I suppose it would be nonsensical for you to have befriended her if you knew, considering everything she's written. You can tell him. It's fair game now. You gave her the heads up. You have been so angry with Whistledown. What will you do? There is a part of me that should like to march the house with a pitchfork. And if you wished me to, I still would. In truth, everything that has happened of late has softened me, I suppose. You mean everything with Penelope? Look at that. He doesn't care. It is truly bewildering how quickly one person can become all that matters. My only concern now is with her well-being and our future together. Perhaps I can make Lady Whistledown go away. You're going to kill her. He will speak with Miss Carper. I'll speak with Lady Whistledown. With the scribe herself. She's... Clever. She's playing the pronoun game over yep. here. <laughs> she said, mm hmm I'll speak with the scribe. Uh, I did not know of Cressida, <laughs> is what she said. Mm. Damn, you got writer's block. Still <sighs> writing, I see. I was going to tell him. Don't worry about it, he doesn't care. I do still plan to tell him. No, for whatever reason, my brother truly believes he loves you. <laughs> You're such a shit. If you knew how long I too have kept a secret from him, Oh, now you're in it with me? Hmm. Why tell him? Hmm. Interesting. The better you know, when it seems like you might be implicated also. I cannot stop. Especially now. Yes, you can, because now you have the perfect escape. Cressida has done you a favor. Yep, you can back out. I have worked too hard. I refuse to let Cressida Cowper take credit. It would break my heart. And what of Colin's heart? Yeah, she wants the credit. Lady Whistledown is my name, not hers. Your name is about to be Bridgerton. Which name's more important? You cannot be both. What is this, Hannah Montana? <laughs> Do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> Being a part of your family is all I've wanted. But now I'm better than you. And there was a time I would have given anything to know Lady Whistledown. Things change. Let it go. Let it go. Mm, you could start a new one like Madam Maggie. Definitely not Lady Whistledown. Madam Maggie's got a little bit of a draw to her. <laughs> Madam Maggie's a whole other character. Her Majesty will see you now. Girl, you could get beheaded. Yeah, does she think she's about to get money? And why have you come forward now? Well, there was a cash prize. I should like to claim my reward, your majesty. And the girl mentioned the check. A measly 5,000 pounds should be nothing to the great lady Whistledown. You do charge. <laughs> I claim it so no one else can take what is rightfully mine. Well, I am a woman of my word. I will give you your reward. When you can prove that you are Lady Whistledown. As soon as you give me your latest issue, the one that should have been published this morning. Well, after you decreed that I be caught, I stopped writing. With the bounty on my head, my publisher has grown wary. But <laughs> I should have an issue forthcoming very soon. Know thine enemy, Miss Cowper. I know Lady Whistledown as well as I know myself. Jesus. Her greatest Do you not know your name? is that she is an observer. <laughs> what have you observed in your life other than yourself? Ooh. Hey, that's what I said, except you're the queen. I observe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's see. Just last night, I observed Miss Francesca and Lord Kilmartin together all night at Bridgerton House. Good, she knows how to read. But I'm sure there is still time to sway Miss Francesca towards the Marquess. <laughs> the real Lady Whistledown would never make such an easy offer of assistance. Without a worthy opponent, I no longer care what mediocre match Miss Francesca chooses to make. <laughs>
Unless you can print a convincing issue, I do not wish to see you in my court again. Oof. If you publish and cement your reputation as Whistledown, no one will marry you. Perfect. We should talk about announcing your betrothal. I simply think it might be wise to wait before announcing your intentions, and that way we can all slink off to our country homes for the wedding, and the queen can pick a fresh diamond at the start of next season. Slink off? That's not how I want to celebrate my wedding. It is only that we do not wish to wait that long. Or slink. We should like to start setting up a home together. Slink. We think speaking to the queen may be the wisest decision. Fair. Like my sister did. Well, if you think you are up to it. We would like you <laughs> to speak to the queen. <laughs> so, Mom, can you talk to her? Yellow ribbons across all of the banisters and gilt flowers covering the carriage from the church to the reception. Oh. And what shall we ride in? A cart? I will carry you, my love. Oh. I'd rather a gilt carriage. <laughs> I do not see why Penelope should get such treatment. Treatment, huh? Penelope? <laughs> Oh, they're so salty. You have managed to capture the affections of a man of great name and means. You have the rest of your life to lie around and do nothing. But for now... You need to get this engagement settled. Your duty is to make Mr. Bridgerton feel as if he is the most important person in the world. She's like, no, honey, I'm the most important person in the world. What about my dreams? Women dreams. don't have dreams. They have husbands. Ladies do not have dreams. Ugh. They have husbands. If you are lucky and you fulfill your role, sometimes what you wish for may come true through him. She's been playing this game for far too long. Mm. Your father could be cruel, a weak man. How's it? <laughs> I chose a match for security, and he could not even provide that. I was about to say. But he gave me you girls. Oh. And my greatest wish has always been for you three to do better than I did. Oof. Marrying for love and money? That's some Bridgerton shit. <laughs> You're lucky, Penelope. Do not take that for granted. Hmm. There you go. That was a real conversation, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Only took you um, three seasons and 20-something years, right. however old I am. I'm hosting a dinner party for you and me and my dear friend Paul. Who's Paul? Are my intentions towards you being peer-reviewed? Hmm. Probably. Something like that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Every one of his relationships gives me like Ross coming in with a new girl and friends. It's like, like, yeah, you're not gonna last. Get new out of girl here. I'm in love with. And you're like, all right, a few episodes, you'll be gone. A pleasure to have you out with us. Well, the pleasure is mine. Mm. One of my finest bottles of brandy. I cannot have it go into the new proprietor. Another. At this rate, you'll have a swishy close the club every week. Sadly, this is the very last <laughs> bottle. If it is a pity drink, then perhaps I deserve it. Love has made me so simple. I cannot even write a sentence this week. It wasn't love, honey. What do you need to write? I'm writing a manuscript, in fact. A manuscript? Oh. I am editing the story of my travels. The no, level no, no, of that no, no, drink no, no, no. has changed like six times. I know, I've noticed. <laughs> you at least have a direction for your life. Well, I am purposeless. True. <laughs> and are you not the happiest you have ever been? Oh, right, that is true. Mm. I have spotted another bottle. Where? <laughs> I was hiding that. <laughs> That's not for us. <laughs> to Mr. Modrich's fine club. To the club. To club. Goodbye, Dude, I, Club. Yeah, I feel bad for him. It's like the last episode of every sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Gotta flip the lights out, buddy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Is this the first time we've ever gone to church with them? Today. Yeah. I published the bands of marriage between Mr. Colin Bridgerton and Miss Penelope Featherington. If any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be Is this the wedding? In holy no. Or is this just an announcement? Ye are to declare it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, am I right? That's cute. She'll yeah. be married here in three weeks. Wait, time. someone could have screwed that up for them just randomly? <laughs> Very easily, apparently. The bands for Lord Charles Cho and Miss Emma Kenworth. Hey! Two, we shall officially be married. I know there is something you have been meaning to tell me. You're in church, you can't lie. In fact, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a very long time. I love you too. I've loved you forever. And I'm Lady Whistledown, but I'm so excited to be married. I have loved you since the moment we met. 
Yeah, that doesn't really match up with the stress you were having, but okay. You're embarrassing me a long time, really. Oh. Even the years I pretended to be your friend, I was, but I loved you in secret. I have always loved you, Colin. Oh, kiss her, give her a hug. I guess he can't kiss her. I will spend a lifetime begging your forgiveness for not seeing you sooner. There is no need. There is nothing in the world that makes me happier than being with you. Thank you. That's all I needed. <laughs> Colin, what are you doing? Dancing. I'm not dancing. Not in the house of the Lord. <laughs> Don't were you kiss. ever punished as a child? Unchaperoned. <laughs> Unchaperoned. You hear what she said? What? She said, were you ever punished as a child? <laughs> Clearly fucking not. No, he was not. He just does whatever the hell he wants. He was a man in this time. Yeah, he and was. And a rich man at that. A rich, cute man. Yeah, with parents that actually loved and enjoyed him. Brother. Sister. <laughs> May I present Lady Keswick? A pleasure. I choose which of your friends I hit I on. I was just about to speak with someone. <laughs> pleasure is all mine. Oh my god, Cressida. <laughs> Cressida, you can't hide in an outfit like that. I know, right? You gotta be dressed as like a footman. Please do not tell anyone I'm here. I would think you would relish the attention. I do not come forward for attention. You came here in a bubblegum pink outfit, <laughs> parachute <laughs> sleeves, like, we can see you. It is a lonely life living in secret. I wondered if possibly you would like to join me. Yeah, let's go! You do so enjoy words, reading at least, and perhaps you might like to help me write the column. Cressida, do you not remember what was written about me last year? What you wrote in Whistledown? I... <laughs> <laughs> that, uh... Forgive me, I do not know why I wrote it. But together we can write the <laughs> She's wrong like, with high praise of your character in our very first issue. Together we're unlimited. I do not wish to be your collaborator, and I cannot be your friend any longer. No, but you could be so much more to each other. Is this truly about Whistledown? It's no wonder Penelope abandoned you. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. All you ever do is talk. You are clearly just envious that I've made something of myself. God damn it, I've heard this before. God damn it! I was like, is this exactly what Penelope told her? Perhaps I am envious of Whistledown. And after spending a season feeling nearly invisible, I almost understand why one might be driven to write it. Wait, someone invisible? I know who it is. <laughs> she said, I've heard this before, but from someone with a little bit more integrity. This is somebody who I actually like and care about. It is said baby girls steal one's beauty. Can uh, you not see it? They make such a charming couple, do they not? She don't care. She's like, I have a new favorite now. I think you look as charming as a chocolate box. What about a cheese plate? They wish for me to speak to the queen on their behalf. Do they still sit in prolonged silence? No, they do talk more now. Mm. Aww. Why does it not matter if Francesca is happy? But they do if the queen suspects them. She may oppose their match. Wasn't that wonderful? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How does that look for Francesca? Does she want a match that's going to be a little bit more like bold and outgoing? And now she feels insecure because her mom's not greeting her match like that. Huh. I hope not. You don't have to burn them. that. The Chekhov's fireplace. The fire's there. <laughs> no. Papers are in her hand. It's got to be done, Benji. It doesn't have to happen. Yeah, it's got to be done. Everybody it's has symbolic. those. No, no, no. See, this is. You don't have to be it's, symbolic. It's you physically symbolic. Of no, who you are. no, 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 no. It's called writing, Benji. Learn a book. Never. <laughs> he felt himself there. He went, yeah. He said, yeah, uh -huh. this is good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. that shit on lock. <laughs> Your so bosoms proud. bounce the way my heart does when thou enters the room. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Colin it. Bridgerton. Colin Bridgerton, out. Oh, Colin. This is beautiful. Are you enjoying yourself? Mm. Mm. I am enjoying the idea of giving the best ball Mayfair has ever seen. Every ball is the best ball. So what do you think they're too much? Never. I just planned the greatest wedding Mayfair has ever seen. Mm. But it's music. <laughs> oh. I feel like we need a song. Someone start singing. This seems great. Oh, and her mom is excited for her for once. I, I, regardless of if it's shallow, she gets to enjoy a mom that is enjoying what she's doing. Uh oh. We forgot about the modis. Right. Oh, forgive me, these last few weeks have been a whirlwind. Well, I'm happy for you. I'm letting Miss Cowper take credit for the column. The issue you read about my engagement will be my last. That column's your life's work. I found a love match, Genevieve. 
I did not wish to take that for granted. I'm wondering if she is, as a businesswoman, she's like, don't give up your dream, or if she's going to be like, no, I need you still. I don't think she needs I don't think so. She did revive her business, but... You know my favorite part about dressmaking? Seeing the glow on a woman's face when she puts the dress on. Yeah, businesswoman to businesswoman. That's what it felt like. I can't imagine ever giving that feeling up. Don't make this harder for me. At any rate, we will make you the most beautiful dress. Dang it. Can I just put the column down for like a month or so just so I can enjoy the wedding and the honeymoon and then come back? Because of your daughter. Why else do you think I'm pulling her dowry? My lord, she will lose all prospects. I do not care. Clearly no her man in London will have her way. now. In front of us? You're right in that goddamn rag in front of How us. How dare you. Why are you not in your room? There is no desk in my room. I'm writing a whistle down. Oof. Good. Then they'll see that you're not Whistletown. Your father was just ousted from his club. Ooh. Because of all of this, he is withdrawing your dowry. You didn't hear that, Cressida? <laughs> 5,000 pounds may not be much to live on, but as a dowry, it may be enough. We must get that reward before the real Whistledown decides to publish again. Read me what you have written. You're gonna have to help her, Mom. Ugh, roses are red, violets are blue. This shit sucks. How you? Whistledown! Dear reader. <laughs> oh my god, you're on another level. Lady Whistledown. Ugh. Did she just say dear reader? Yeah. No, that's not how she greets us. Today I bring you much gossip from about the many lands. Near and far, far and wide. Oh my god. No. Is that all? So far. Oh. How does Penelope do it? Whistledown has a je ne sais quoi, yeah. you know? Love. I want to take her around the house and dust it. Stupid. It's cute. I like it. It is cute. Very pretty. Of all bitches, dead or alive, a scribbling woman is the most canine. This author would like to show you her teeth. Clever. <laughs> so I gotta hand it to her. Gotta <laughs> hand it to her. <laughs> so a girl can write. I'm trying my best to fit the ne'er do well reputation. Do you fill your time with any creative pursuits? To write or draw or paint? Yes, all of those. No. I paint. Uh, you paint. You literally paint. <laughs> I dance sometimes <laughs> at parties. This is super awkward. Ah. Who are you? Paul is a patron of the arts. He spends all of his time supporting the theatre. This is how Tilly and I met. You know, she's at a box every week. I did not know that. I shall never forget the first day I saw her. Are they in an open relationship? Is she trying to open it up? Did she tell you to be very, very afraid of her? <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. I really enjoyed that. Both of you. Are we afraid of what's going to happen tonight? <laughs> Mr. Bridgerton is dry. Benedict. Benedict. Wait, are you right, Benji? It seems like, yeah. What the hell is this dance? What on God's big <laughs> Newton Earth was that? She looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. My God. Why don't you talk to my brother now? Oh my God. <laughs> Jenna, ah. keep her, hear him away from Violet. A few more friends I should like you <laughs> oh to Oh my God. I have never liked that color, but it is winning on you. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Portia compliments as only Portia can compliment. She's on cloud 20 right now. I am pregnant. Are you? Everyone knows a baby can push water up into one's eyes. I'm jealous because mom's not giving all attention anymore. I take comfort in knowing that if we no longer have your club, you shall at least host the season's most exquisite party. Seems all right. I mean, not to take anything away yeah, from Yeah, I was them, thinking the same thing. I was, I was like, I don't. It seems pretty Majesty chill. Of the Queen. Woo! As I assumed, lackluster at best. Oh. Ouch. She's never done this. It's kind of rude. I feel like she's usually doesn't really comment on the party itself. Has she? Oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's see what it is. What is it? Show us. Come on. Impress her. Is there a little dancing naked man inside? Wonderful. Still lackluster at best. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't really know hey, what constitutes a, a good party. I would assume more people feel like their Probably, parties are getting but... like tinier and tinier. <laughs> I don't know if their budget's going, but I could have sworn the first seasons had bigger yeah. balls and rooms. Maybe it's just the fact that everybody's there, like you said. Shall you try to speak to the queen now? Perhaps we should let her settle in a little more. 
Come on. Does the Queen not love a little chaos? It is important that we find her in good humor. Mm. I do not wish to wait. I know, but I do not wish to ruin things for you. Do you not think how much would cheer her? I am going to look at the very fine wainscoting. <laughs> Literally, I'm going to go look at the wall. It is not <laughs> Francesca, you have gone in front of the Queen before. I sure did. You still do not believe in this match, do you? Oh, what's not to believe in? You have been perfunctory in your support. Perfunctory. Not every attachment must be dramatic and hard fought. What John and I have is easy, and I love him, Mama. Daddy, I love him! Even if it is not the love that you want for me. Period. It doesn't all have to be crazy hard fought, but you know, there are some that do. I'm just saying, because some people are like, hey, not every relationship looks the same. And I'm like, yeah, I know. We support their relationship. We just didn't feel it for those two. Anyways. <laughs> uh oh, my no, own Benji's rant. getting sour. <laughs> No, no, I'm the sour one here. You're right. You're right. That's but, on you. Why are you? Get, why are you ranting right now? I don't know. Get I over it. I'm happy for everyone. We're all happy. I do not wish to speak to any more eligible widows. It is not for you to go after my friend. You are not the only one who cares for Lady Bridget. Oh, yeah. Must you take everything from me? I had a chance of happiness, and you took it from me. Wait, when? Oh, How did I take probably your chance at happiness? Arranging the wrong marriage. The night before I was to be married, I very nearly escaped to freedom. It was you who betrayed me to our father. I heard him thank you. Was that true? It's a good question. Soma. Soma. You think you can call me by my born name and right the wrong? Ooh. Your charm may work on every widow in the town, but I am unmoved. Oh, thank God they gave you some stuff to do this season. You're such an amazing actress. Okay. Jesus Christ. Wow. Now I wonder. I'm sure he didn't what actually. What he was hiding. Yeah. I wonder what the actual story is. Having had a sister myself who's had to call me out for some of my straight male bullshittery, I definitely have to side with the bad bitch in red here. Yeah. You do not spend much time in society. I find the entire thing much too pretentious. I cannot imagine what anyone would judge you for. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? Do you want a kiss? You and Lady Arnold have quite a rapport. I'm surprised you two have never... Oh, we have. Nobody said we didn't. The wine has made me rather rude. The wine has also made you rather charming. Hey, 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 no, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I should go ensure Tilly has not worked herself up into a frenzy of a dessert. Are you finally getting what you want, Benji? I, I dare you. Don't. No way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to freak out because after three seasons, I'm like, <laughs> I kind of gave up. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. What? Wait, wait, what? Ding. He already kind of find himself in a relationship like this. Oh. Yeah, he hooked up It was with a gay man who <sighs> had a wife. Yeah. Well, come over here and join us. Would you perhaps like to join us? I approve. I, uh... Ah, I've forgotten. I'm supposed to be somewhere. <laughs> Forgive me. Don't worry. Not this episode. Not yet. That wasn't a, oh God, no, I have to leave. That was a, whoa, never thought about that. Give me a second. I'll be back. Whoa. Oh, wait, wait. Da, 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 oh. da. wait, don't say it. Don't say it. I know I what it is. Say. Yes. 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 I know. I know. Private walls in the chat. Who will be married. Is this Demi Lovato? Yeah. <laughs> ah, complicated. Com what? Com confident. confident. Right. What's wrong with being confident? <laughs> Jesus! Whoa! I love that. She looks What's like a wrong dragon. with being confident? Hell yeah! What's wrong with being confident? This is giving the she's realized she's the villain and now she's coming in with her. <laughs> Literally. Yes. Oh my god, I love that bow. This is one of the more amusing parties I have been to. <laughs> wow. I love that. I love the music. It's all coming together <laughs> so well. Wow. Fantastic. Oh my god, she looks like a literal dragon. It was just a perfect evolution of like, all her stuff was like, it's not working. And then this is just like, For the queen period. to summon us. I do wish to see what happens. 
eaten up the drama. That's why I can't get behind all these people who hate on Lady Whistledown. I'm like, you know you gobble her up. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Lady Whistledown, she is a rather clever writer. Fuck you. Oh. Well, she wants the credit. Yeah, she's gonna go full Walter White from Breaking Bad. I've been meaning to tell you. I've been editing my travel diary into a manuscript with your encouragement. Perhaps I could edit them for you. No, 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 you're a silly, stupid little wish. girl. Before you sell them to a bookseller. You do write the very best letters, but I might like to prove to myself that I do it on my own. Is she gonna edit him at one point and he's gonna be like, oh my god, your lady whistled down. I want to be worthy of you. God, you guys gotta have an empire together. A writing empire. Your Majesty. Were you invited here tonight? No, Your Majesty. I just wanted to hand deliver the next issue. Are they gonna hand it out to everyone? I simply wanted to give you a gift. Oh my god, what is happening? This is I so much it. drama. I'm obsessed. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, to everyone. Oh, everyone, I'd take one. I'd be so pissed off if I was Penelope. Penelope. Dearest gentle reader. She has returned! Yeah, she's in the freaking room with y'all. Yeah, 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 but the writing is the important part. Oh my god. I'd be so pissed if I was Penelope. <laughs> Dearest gentle reader. Ew. It is said that there is no rest for the wicked. This author must be rather virtuous, for I have been enjoying a much needed respite from observing all of you. Not to worry. I am back. And shall return soon enough with a full issue. You may now know my name, but have no doubt I know you even better. Yours truly, Lady Whistledown. <laughs> or forever now, Cresta Cowper. Oh, <laughs> wow. I just like the pageantry that she's adding to it now. I'm like, I mean, I'm not going to fight you. May we discuss? I shall look forward to tomorrow's issue. Then we might discuss your reward. What sucks, though, is it's like, inherently, if somebody knows who it is, you're going to have access to less gossip. Or you'll get more because then people know who to come to when they hear something. What? What's wrong? Come with me. Are you two Lady Whistledown? Holy shit, wait a minute. This is all my fault. Louise, just, breathe. We have created a monster. What do you mean, we? I put them all in danger again, just like last year. That was my fault. No, I was reckless. As I have been now inviting that viper into my family's home. A viper who now has nearly as much power as the queen. Are we going to be friends again now? I never should have befriended her. Huh. What a fun villain Cressida has turned out to be. <laughs> right? You'll be all right. It's like she upgraded with the times. She was like, yeah, I was a mean girl before, but now I'm, a bad I'm the girl. devil. With one issue, I can discredit Cressida. The column began because I felt powerless in my own home. Writing was the only way I felt I could have a voice. And I should have been using the column to give a voice to the other voiceless. I have done plenty of damage with my pen. It's her name. Please, let me use it now to do some good. Well, this was not what I was expecting. You must get a full issue out right away. Uh, no. It's definitely not that Whistledown. It's me. Whistledown is going to naturally die anyways. Because once she's a Bridgerton, people are going to notice her. She's writing it in the carriage. Also... The other thing, too, is, of course, they might all be simpletons, but you'd be able to tell a, a writing difference. Yeah, but we haven't seen yet. It's just a few sentences. Also, Colin's probably following her. Apologies for the late order. There's been some confusion with the silk delivery. Anything for Lady Whistledown? Hey, she's doing an accent, Benji. <laughs> Yet another thing we've run into. Colin. Oh, you. he found out. Oh, Lady Whistledown. No, I work for Lady Whistledown. Damn. What an episode. What an episode. Epic, epic, epic. I love Cressida's entrance. I appreciate how Penelope's going about it. I understand why Penelope would want to give it up for a little bit, but I understand why other people are like, no, don't do that. Don't give it up. Obviously, I get both sides of it. It makes sense why she's kind of warring with herself. It's like, should I give it up? Because it has done a lot for me and it's meant a lot for me up to this point. But also now it's going to kind of get in the way of potentially my future happiness. Yeah. So how can we do both? Who knows? We'll figure out. I also think that Eloise and her just became best friends again. They're like, okay... Whew. We get it. We have an understanding here. I think having Cressida say the same thing to her. Because, mm -hmm. hey, yeah. say what you want about Cressida, but at least she was like, she mm -hmm. said it like how it was. Yeah. So when Eloise was just doing her normal Eloise thing, Cressida went, D -d 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 -d. do you ever, like, listen? She's like, no wonder your friend isn't your friend anymore because you just 
talk. You don't listen to people. I love that. Oh. She's kind of an enemy you, you kind of love no, to no, hate. No, 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 no. I love her. She's great. An enemy you love <laughs> I'm to about hate. it. For now. Like, we'll see, obviously, what she does. But girl, get your bag. She's doing what Go she has to do. get your bag. But yeah, they definitely became friends again. The best way to make people bond is a common enemy. Mm. And that's what we have in Cressida Calpa. Calper? Mm. Calpo. Calpo. Yeehaw. Cowpoke. <laughs> Cressida Cowpoke. She's from Texas. Yowdy. <laughs> Colin. Let's uh, see what happens there. I know. I'm, <laughs> I, I like. Uh, what is there to say? I know. We're gonna find out. Yeah, how long have you been following them? Probably a while. She ran out suspiciously, and I was and like, he just listened in from the other side of the door. Well, he probably was down the hall. Maybe he couldn't hear. Maybe he could, and then just kept following her because he was like, I mean, what, what's going on? I am about to marry you. I did want her to tell him herself. You did say that. Yeah, but but, but that's boring. That's <laughs> healthy. But that's boring! I also don't fully blame her for not doing it because if yeah. she was planning on not doing it anymore. Also, Eloise kind of forgave her mm -hmm. and Colin kind of said, I don't really care. So yeah. like, kind of one of those things where it's like, I genuinely thought I could just take a step back and it wouldn't matter. So maybe that'll be fine. Honestly, we're ready to just move on to the next episode. In the meantime, you can always watch these full reactions on our Patreon for $5. We've got exclusive reactions going on as well. And we're discussing it on the Fable app. You can check it out free. All the links are down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Yeah. And comment wise, don't be scared to comment. I'm just what? be, just, you know, we just. No, I know. I've, I, I, I realize I've been a grumpy grumpus. We do enjoy reading the comments and we do enjoy when you guys let us know how things were different in the book and those kinds of things. I don't need to be getting after the one negative person when everyone else is being so positive. Yeah, like you guys are so great. Like, I'm just so passionate. Yeah. I'm Puerto Rican and Italian. It's a lot of fire. Oh. You know, I think most of the pop stars get the energy. It's not necessarily anger like you did anything wrong. He's just passionate. You just, saw uh, you saw when we were arguing in the first episode. I'm passionate, it's just boy. passion. It's not anger. It's a spicy boy over here. Sweet dreams. And keep watching. And when we say share, we want you to share. We want you to take our YouTube channel, put it on a bunch of different plates, enter into a, 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 a banquet. Off. No, enter into a banquet and then pass along our YouTube channel to everybody in the room and say, dearest viewer, watch this channel. Just like what Cressida just did. Okay. I, I mean, if you do that, let us know because that's epic, but. That's what I want. <laughs> so share us that way. Anyways. Or else. The character of Penelope is doing an Irish accent and also, Yes, we know that Nicola Kofla, is that how Nicola we pronounce Coughlin? it? I don't know. Coughlin. No corrected me. We know that she is Irish, but that's still not even actually her accent, apparently. So please don't come at us and say that we're wrong. She is doing an accent <laughs> on both counts.